Okay, so now I'm grabbing some metallic copper pigment and I'm mixing it in with some uh, mixing liquid. This is kind of a set from Graftobian, so you get a sponge mixing liquid and the pigment. And when you once you mix it together, it turns kind of kind of into a face paint, and then you just apply it to your face. And what I do, I just apply it to half of my face, and I try to get the color up in my hairline, in my ears. So I don't know. So all of the uh, skin is covered, so I look metallic on the one side. Okay, so now I'm grabbing some modeling wax. This is also by Graftobian. And what I do, I just roll it into a sausage and then apply it to my face. Uh, make sure that you dip your fingers in oil before you start modeling it on your face because it will be sticky and the oil will prevent the wax from sticking to your fingers. And what I do, I just kind of smooth it out into my skin um, on the one side that is supposed to be skin. <laughs> and then I just do it all over uh, my face as you can see here I also decided that I wanted to put some modeling wax on my neck too so I went ahead and did that off camera uh, but now I'm just kinda uh, the side that I didn't smooth out I'm just uh, gonna squishing it with my fingers and kinda tearing it up a bit just so it looks more like a torn skin so it looks more realistic and uh, stuff like that Okay, so now I'm going in with some foundation and I'm just applying it with a small beauty blender. And I'm just kind of applying it to the modeling wax so it kind of, I don't know, just blends more nicely into my skin so it looks more realistic. And uh, yeah, I just kind of color the skin flaps. And then I went ahead and uh, painted the rest of my neck with the face paint. Okay, so now I'm grabbing my uh, Ben Nye Special Effects color wheel and I'm using the lightest red shade. And uh, this I will be using to kind of bruise up the skin where it's torn. So naturally, if your skin is torn, it will look bruised. So this is what I'm trying to recreate. I just kind of want it to look irritated and bruised. And yeah, I just use a brush and I also use my fingers. And uh, later on, I'm using a sponge. And now I'm grabbing the darkest shade from the color wheel and I'm just coloring the outside of the flaps so they look bloody. So now I'm going in with some scab blood also by Ben Nye. And this I'm just applying to the edges of the modeling wax with a Q-tip just to make it also look bloody and it look like it's torn and realistic and yeah. Okay, so now I'm grabbing the darkest shade from the color wheel and I'll be using this to create a shadow underneath the modeling wax and this will just uh, make it so it looks like the skin is torn really deep and that's what I'm looking for, that's the kind of effect you want. Okay, so now I'm grabbing just some plain silver glitter and I will be applying this to my eyebrow. But first I'm just applying some lash glue on the brow so the glitter will stick. And then I'm just applying the glitter with a small brush. And then I'm just creating a sharp wing. I kind of do a long one just so it looks more dramatic 
and like the rest of my face. <laughs> Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and apply some lashes. These are just some regular lashes that I bought off of eBay and then I just kind of dipped them into the glitter. And then I just went ahead and applied them. So now I went ahead and applied some jewels to my cheekbone so it kind of looks like that highlight type of thing, just way more dramatic. And then I went ahead and applied some glitter to my lip too, not a lot, just a tiny bit. And that's actually it. Thank you so much for watching and I really hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial.